Life's three grand illusions. What else could we be speaking about but of wealth, fame, and love? One way or another, we all chase, some of us relentlessly, wealth, fame, and love in this exact order of importance. These life illusions don't always present themselves in such a prescribed pecking order. Fact is, we never know who shows up first or if any of them will ever make itself present at all. But if they do, we'll face one of life's most puzzling conundrums. That is, what we are keenly after is not only elusive, but usually comes at the expense of something else. Correspondingly, more often than not, when we are graced with riches and a good name, it comes at the expense of love. Or if we become wealthy, it is at the expense of the other two. Or a good reputation comes without love or riches. Or love blesses us without riches or even a good name. What is not so apparent though, is that these triado grand illusions, which we covet so much, comes at the expense of other, even more important virtues, some existential in nature, others crucial life attitudes than our three grand illusory obsessions. As we chase wealth, we sacrifice frugality and run the risk of losing our ability to appreciate the true value of people or material things. Or perhaps even worse, we become unable to value the simplest of things, especially those that are nominally scarce in quantifiable degrees. As we go after reputation, we run the risk that nothing about us is nameless any longer, and the fiction of what others think about us morphs into an obsession and becomes more important than the reality of who we really are. Falsely, anonymity then becomes a synonym for failure or lack of accomplishment. And everything we do or we work for becomes attached to our name and ego. But the biggest risk we face with fame is that everything we do in life for others or ourselves becomes somewhat and somehow driven and conditioned by what others think and how they react and how they behave. Thus, we lose part or all of our sense of identity as the purest of all acts in life, the acts of conscience, where we are only accountable to ourselves, totally escape us. But the most difficult of our life's grand illusions to go after is love, as by doing so we run the risk of sacrificing freedom. Love is a compromise between two souls where each one gives a part of themselves and a couple is born. But a twosome is a separate unit from the two individuals and the balance between the individuality of each one versus the couple, even though attainable, is very difficult to achieve and even more so to maintain. The problem lies in that self-determination and liberty are not that compatible with love. It takes a lot of maturity, tolerance, and compromise for both to coexist. It is in true love where the boundaries within a couple blend best. This happens when freedom, instead of being an obstacle, is actually the bond that unites authentic love. Strings and ties are not driven by walls of insecurity and possession, but by the natural, spontaneous, and comfortable yearning for our other half and the certainties of imminent belonging to someone else's heart. Are we then just chasing these three grand illusions in life? Is that all we are capable to do? Are they only a mirage? Do we sacrifice frugality and austerity when we go after riches and wealth? Do we lose anonymity and our own identity when we are after reputation and a good name? 
and do we lose freedom and self-determination when we join in love? Before chasing wealth, perhaps we should learn to be frugal and austere first. So we learn the true value of things and how precious each fellow human being is. And we should learn first how to be humbly anonymous and modestly nameless and do things for ourselves based on our conscience alone before chasing reputation and a good name, which are always based on what others think of us instead of what we really think about ourselves. And we could learn about freedom and self-determination first, hopefully before true love finds us, hooking us up with someone else. So we will be capable of balancing the emerging couple with our individuality and sense of being. Life is a mirage of three grand illusions, wealth, fame, and love, that require a fine balance between them as not to hurt some at the expense of a three out of others, namely frugality, anonymity, and freedom, as we require them as well for a wholesome, well-balanced, and happy life. So what is austerity to wealth? What is anonymity to fame? And what is freedom to love? Do we sacrifice some for the benefit of others? Or is it that we need them first before we go after our three grand illusions of wealth, fame, and love? Yes, austerity, anonymity, and freedom seem to preclude our three grand illusions more. And this concludes our session on wealth, fame, and love, part of the Happiness Triangle series. Thank you.